Good morning, everybody. Welcome back. Today, I am going to share a massive April grocery haul for our family. When I say massive, I mean for us because I normally lately have not been buying too much, but I went ahead and went back to monthly grocery shopping because lately I've just been kind of going as needed for fresh stuff and I have not done like much for the pantry to restock it at all. So that is what you're going to see today for our family of six who eats at home for all meals. We homeschool. I send my husband to work with breakfast and lunch every day. We eat all of our dinners at home besides a very rare night out. So we go through a lot of food here. I prep lots of food, lots of meals. If you watch us all the time, you see that we have now started at a second breakfast and a snack that is meal plan in because my kids told me they are hungry between breakfast at 7 30 and lunch at 12 so they wanted a second breakfast so we haven't started incorporating that so we go through lots of food and what i do is i film it and i share it with you guys so you can see all of the food that is very simple and easy to make so if you are into those kind of videos we would love to have you subscribe but let me go ahead and share with you what we got i have walmart and i have aldi so behind me is aldi um i actually filmed walmart first so at the end of my Walmart haul, you'll hear me say, okay, now you'll see Aldi, but it's actually gonna be backwards because I didn't take my little intro video until now. So <coughs> excuse what I said, cause I did Walmart earlier, but here we go. Let me share with you our Aldi haul. So this is it, but there's actually multiple things that we didn't put everything up on the table. So I will share with you those kind of things as we go through. But my gosh, did I spend money at Aldi today? We took two carts. We had one child push one, me push the other, and we went through Aldi and I was like, please don't let me get up there and hold up the line. We got up there. There was hardly anybody in the store. Nobody got it in line until we were at the end checking out. So that was great because I don't want to be that person in line holding everybody up. And thankfully, I was not. I loved it. <laughs> So I'll start with cats. We needed uh, cat litter. I actually meant to grab cat litter at Sam's Club. Was it last week when we went? And I forgot. So I got it today and it was actually marked down on sale. So I'm happy with that. And then for our spoiled cats, we have three cats. They get wet food, not all the time. They get dry food all the time, but they also get special wet food. So I went ahead and restocked on that. And then restocked on some tortillas. So we got two burrito size, four regular size, the mediums, and just one small. I only got one bag of apples and one bag of oranges because, and one bag of potatoes because we have all of these downstairs in the fridge still. So I keep our potatoes and our onions, extra apples and oranges downstairs in our extra fridge because it ends up lasting longer. It's like having a root cellar. And um, so I only needed to grab one of each because we still have some down there. So we actually have some fresh stuff. Normally I would buy more fresh stuff than this but we just didn't need all the fresh stuff that today, which is nice because it helped keep the cost down for today. Um, I got two packs of hot dog buns. We actually got two each of the bagels. We got two plain, two everything. I'm gonna go ahead and throw them in the freezer. We got two pie crusts. I don't actually have plans for these, but these were marked down today, so I went ahead and grabbed them. These also will go in the freezer for if and when I do need them. We got two packs of chocolate chip cookies. Um, Ashlyn was asking for oyster crackers, so she got some of those. We got two packs of egg noodles. We got two boxes of this um, bow tie pasta, and then two of the rotini pasta. That's what's over in the bag that I just showed you. And then I let the kids pick out lots of cereal, and I told them, this is lasting all month, and if it doesn't last all month, you don't get any more until next month. I'm not going to let you go through all of the cereal. We use cereal as a snack around here. We don't really use it as breakfast. So, But if we open one box and everybody has it, it's usually gone in one little thing there because if everybody has a bowl, that's it for the whole family. So we got cocoa peanut butter puffs. We got chocolate puffs. We got berry kids crunch, fruit rounds, and honey nut crispy oats. And then we got some stuffing. We got graham crackers and cinnamon graham crackers. We got some thin wheat crackers because I have some snacks planned with us with um, some like cheese and crackers and things. We got two boxes of these um, like Aldi brand Ritz crackers. And then we got two boxes of taco shells. We got two boxes of saltines. We are out of all of this stuff downstairs. That's why I went ahead and grabbed two 
there's just no room to put two up. So I'm just telling you guys two and we kept the rest off to the side. We got two boxes of Chewy Fudge Brownie Mix. We actually got two boxes of this Devil's Food Cake Mix and two boxes of the Yellow Cake Mix. We also got two boxes of Elbow Noodles. And then the kids picked out these. Ashlyn picked out the dried cranberries and Everly picked out dried fruit medley. We got some more pepperoni for pizza nights. Did I get two bags of these croutons? Ashlyn, do you know? I think I did, but I could be wrong. I might have only grabbed one. Um, I don't know. We'll see. I got two bags of chips. We got some more tostadas. We got some grapes. We got both color grapes today. We got some Colby Jack cheese. And then I got, I was, I got this to do like cheese cubes and snacks and things. I got four of these Monterey Jack cheese because when I make chicken enchiladas or beef enchiladas or whatever, I do a cheese sauce with this cheese. So these are just going to go in the freezer. I don't need them now, but I am completely out. So while I was there, I wanted to grab them and just throw them back in the freezer. Ashlyn grabbed us some um, chocolate chips. So she grabbed semi-sweet, milk chocolate, and dark chocolate. I just grabbed two packs of hot dogs. I figured those would be really good, quick, easy lunches for the kids during the week. We grabbed two jars of salsa. If you know us, my kids love chips and salsa. They could eat it every day, all day. I also grabbed two of these pizza sauces. I had made a whole bunch of pizza sauce, but I went ahead and grabbed these just in case uh, I get to the point where I run out and I don't have the time to make anymore. These are just for that, just in case. Um, we grabbed two of the tomato basil garlic pasta sauces. This one's my absolute favorite. And then we just grabbed like more pantry restock things. So I grabbed these last time I went to Aldi. We have yet to use them, but we're using, I think both this month actually. So, um, I went ahead and grabbed two more because they were still on sale. So we got that one and this one, we got both. Um, we just grabbed another yellow mustard, some more ranch, some pretzels. We got two bags of pretzels. We got the mini twists and the sticks. Just another bag of regular old chips there. Some breadcrumbs, baking soda, two things of baking powder, two mayonnaise, um, more mozzarella for pizza nights, and a cantaloupe, some kiwi, some broccoli, some bananas, avocados, um, zucchinis. We got tomatoes and carrots. And I didn't really have a plan for these, but I also grabbed these while, they, while we were there. I like to always make a quick meal of these on random nights of just this, potatoes, onions, green beans, throw it in the uh, crock pot. It just makes an easy meal. I don't have any more, so I went ahead and just threw, got them while I was there. I'll throw them in the freezer. We got some grape tomatoes. The berries were so expensive today. So we opted for just these two because they were the cheapest ones. The blueberries were almost $4 and the strawberries, we couldn't find a price. And the woman in front of me was also looking for a price. And we never found one, so I assume since the blueberries were that expensive, the strawberries were too. And the strawberries were really, really, really dark, and they didn't look like they would last very long anyway. So we went with raspberries and blueberries today. We got four cream cheese. I got this guacamole. That way when we do chips and salsa, we also have some guacamole. And then just another thing of butter, some cucumbers and peppers. We like to have these as snacks, but also add the cream cheese on them, which you'll see on my Walmart haul. I got a new cream cheese to try on these. It's like a chive and onion, I think it was. Um, but we'll see if we like that one or not. We got some onions to throw in the fridge downstairs as well. Cheese sticks for snacks. I actually got four of these. I don't know where the other one went, but I got four basil, garlic, and oregano diced tomatoes. And then I just went ahead and grabbed a whole case of all of these. So the like Rotel, the Aldi brand Rotel, some sweet corn, some green beans. These are green chilies, which I also use in my um, queso sauce. I use about two of those per thing. And then I like to also add them randomly if we do like some kind of salsa chicken or um, some quesadillas with chicken or just anything. They're great to add to things like that. So I like to have a lot of those too. I feel like we go through a lot of those. And then also some peas and that is it. That is it. So it is so much food and I'm hoping that it all lasts all month. I'm sure some of it will last longer. I'm sure some of it won't last anywhere near as much as I would like it to, but that's life, you know? So here is part of the Walmart thing. I'll tell you a couple other things that I have that we just didn't put on the table because it was just repeats of things. So um, we're gonna go through this. We're gonna get the cold stuff put away. <laughs> The cat's playing and then we're going to run to town and go to Aldi. My plan was to do it all at once, but Aldi was not open by the time we were there and we would have had to sit and wait forever. So we were like, hey, let's go home. 
unload, take a video, and then go back to town. So we're about to head back to town. But I actually got six of these milks. I only put out four. I got two French vanilla creamers for my husband. I got two of the honey cinnamon vanilla for myself because I haven't had it in forever and I just wanted to go ahead and grab some. I got four of these big and buttery crescent rolls because they did not contain milk, um, even though I thought that they would, but their regular ones were out. These are more expensive, but we like to make a few meals with crescent rolls, so I wanted to make sure that I got some. So I went ahead and my first instinct was no because it said butter, but then I checked and there is no milk, thankfully. And Aldi's have milk now, so I can't use the Aldi brand. So we just went ahead with the and got those. We got quite a bit of yogurt. Some of it is just in the fridge. Some of it is out. So um, I got two of the four of vanilla of the almond milk um, uh, yogurt. Oh my gosh. And then we got two of the peach. We got two blueberry. We got two strawberry. And then actually, I think we got four of each of these. So that's what was left over in the fridge. So we got four of each of those flavors. Also with these, I got four of each flavor. So, or no, I got, there's four more in the fridge. I'm not sure what the flavor is. Key lime. Okay. Yeah. The kids know because I just put them away. So we got four strawberry, four key lime, which are in the fridge, and then four orange cream. The girls asked for these last time we were there. And then I got cream cheese and we like to do a lot of cream cheese on vegetables for snacks. And when I was looking for strawberry cream cheese, because one of my daughters really likes the great value strawberry one and they didn't have it, uh, but they did have this chive and onion one. And I was like, hmm, that might be really good on the peppers, cucumbers, things like that. So I went ahead and grabbed that for us to try. And then we got four cans of these brown sugar hickory baked beans. Like I said, I only put a couple on the table. I got four of the chickpeas to make some homemade hummus. Again, only two. I got two crushed pineapple and two pineapple tidbits as well. I got two of the original applesauce and I got two of the cinnamon applesauce too, even though there's only one on the table. We got two of these for my one daughter who can't have butter. So I try just to eliminate not using any other butter for her, but there are a few things that I still kind of need butter for. And so I'll use that. My girls have been asking and asking and asking for this. So if you mix these two together, it's almost like the pink drink from Starbucks. So we got the white cranberry strawberry juice with this organic coconut vanilla milk and you mix them together over some ice. And apparently it's like a pink drink from Starbucks and they love it. So I also got some stuff just for food storage. I haven't done that in a while. So we got quick oats and we got old fashioned oats just to put downstairs. I got six of these, again, only two on the table. Um, this is what I use to feed my sourdough. I use it a lot in other recipes too, but there are times where I just use other flour as well. And then we got some coffee. Let's see, over here, I did get two bags of fish sticks. We got two bags of this popcorn chicken. I only put one out on the table. We got two bags of seasoned fries. We got two bags of crinkle cut fries. We got two bags each of these vegetables. So these deluxe stir fry. I got two bags of Brussels sprouts. And then I left both bags of these on the table as well. I needed some dishwasher gel, so we got that. I got two bags of this corn on the cob as well. One's, only ones on the table. And then, um, this was a really late add-on. I was like, man, I could go for some queso. So I grabbed one of these and I was gonna get the other one, but the other one had yellow dye in it. And so I went back to just this one. So we got two of these. We needed just some more malt vinegar and some more cornmeal and some more hoisin sauce. I use this when I make a really easy lo mein and we're gonna have that at some point this month. So I needed to go ahead and grab some more of that. And then we got some pepperoni and some asparagus. Now it is time to get all of this stuff put away and then head to town and get the rest of our stuff from Aldi because we need some fresh items and some more like snacky things. So we're gonna get all this cold stuff put away, head to Aldi and you'll see us back in just a minute. So that is it for both stores, Walmart and Aldi. And like I said, I wanna go back to monthly shopping. It saves us personally so much money because I go get it all at once and the less trips to the store is less money spent. So I will have to go back for fresh produce and more milk through the month, but that'll be it. And it just really, really helps us keep our grocery bill down. So it might not help everybody, but it is one of my tips. If you meal plan and you like write down everything that you're gonna need for the month, go get everything that you can, minus the stuff that will perish because you will have to go back for that. Um, but if you get the rest of your items in 
at once in the beginning, just less trips, it's less gas money. I mean, it's all over. It just helps save at least us. It might not work for everybody, like I said, but it definitely helps with us. So um, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you tomorrow with a brand new video of me. Probably you'll see me making all of this food. Not at once, but you'll see some of it in the video tomorrow. So thank you guys and I'll see you then. Bye.